Hello everybody, welcome back to the chalkboard. I'm Joey Ikes of bloggingtheboys.com. Here we're going to look at another cover three beater in our series of uh, learning a little bit more about the X's and O's here. Um, so we're going to take a look now at an offense here in 11 personnel. We've got three wide receivers, one tight end and a running back. We've got a defense who's countering that with nickel personnel. So here we've got two linebackers and five defensive backs. We've got a nickel cornerback in place of essentially our Sam linebacker. So we've got now we've got our strong safety rolled up into the box here to make it look like our base seven man over type alignment here. One thing that I'll note is we've talked before about how in base personnel the will linebacker will follow this three technique under tackle. That doesn't hold true in the nickel personnel, at least not for my film study that I've done. So we're going to see here the will linebacker actually align on the weak side of the formation even though they're kind of in an over type front. So what we've got here is we've got cover three by the defense, as we've talked about before. This is a cover three beater that we're talking about. Really, it's a really good route combination for any coverage. But we've got our deep thirds responsibilities from our corners and our free safety. And we've got our curl flat responsibilities from our strong safety and our nickel line, or our nickel cornerback, excuse me. And now we've got our hook to curl responsibilities for our linebackers on the inside. So that's our base three deep, four under zone coverage here from cover three from nickel personnel. From an offensive perspective, what we're looking at here is a three man route combination here to the open side of the field. You can run it to the close side of the field, but I've got it drawn up over here on the open side. Works either way, it's a three man route combination. If you've got a running back in the backfield and you've got even signs here where you've got a two by two formation, you can run it on either side. But what we've got here on this open side, our route by our number one receiver out here on this side, our Z receiver is a go route. He's going to get an outside release and he's going to take off down the field just like we talked about in our sail combination. So this combination here is called the stick combination. Um, we've got this go route here and then we've got the, the route that's really going to make this combination uh, really gets the name for the combination is this route inside the stick route. So what we've got here from the W is we've got him up down the field for anywhere from five to eight yards, and then he's going to stick and turn here and face the quarterback. Now it looks like a simple curl route, and really that's what it is, but it's got a little extra added onto it where he's got the ability to, if he's got this corner kind of sitting on his inside hip here or it finds man coverage or something like that, he's got the ability to then take it and work it back to the outside to try to run away from that man coverage. A concept you'll hear a lot in a lot of these routes is you run versus man and you sit versus zone. So he's going to turn here and if he's got his own coverage then he's going to sit down and he's going to make the catch there. If he's got a man coverage and he's got a guy sitting on his hip he's going to turn and he's going to run to the outside try to get some separation and get open. The route that really kind of makes this thing tick and really allows it to be a substantial combination that teams can use is this flat route here by this running back. He's going to take it here and come out kind of out to the flat just like that. It can be set up where you've got a, a Y here running the stick and you've got a, a third wide receiver or a, a second tight end or whatever here in the slot that runs the out route. But the idea is you're going vertical up the field on the outside, you're attacking the flat, and then you've got the stick route in the middle. So you essentially create what, what they call a triangle stretch. We've talked about the vertical stretch with the cell combination. We'll talk about the horizontal stretch a little bit here in another week or so. Um, and this is a triangle stretch. So it's stretching the defense two ways. It's stretching them vertically here and here, and it's stretching them horizontally from the flat route, which is gonna get all the way out here, back to the corner route. So this, this nickel corner now has the decision to make about whether he's going to sit inside on the stick route or he's going to work his way out to the flat route by the running back. His responsibility should be to make sure he doesn't get outflanked out here to the outside. He should kind of attack this flat route, make sure that this flat route is, is covered because the defense doesn't want to get somebody on the sideline in space all by themselves with this cornerback run all the way down the field and nobody there around him to make a tackle. Uh, we've talked before, Monty Kiffin's philosophy is force the throw underneath, make a tackle, rally to the ball, force a fumble, something like that. So what really makes this combination kind of awesome is you get this running back running this flat route and you get this nickel back 
where he essentially drops back here and then just runs away from your W. And so now you've got your will linebacker who's back in his hook to curl and he's essentially going back, he's going straight back first or angling a little bit out first, but there's no way he's going to be able to get over here by the time this throw is made. This is a three-step drop for the quarterback. It's a quick game combination, so he's going to take his, his three-step drop and he's going to look at this guy right here. If this guy stays on the Y, he's, or on the W, excuse me, he's going to look to the R. If he comes off of the, off of the R and comes up here, or comes off of the W to the R, he's going to look at the W. So he's got, really, he's got this guy in a really, really bad position here where he can't really do anything right, and that's really what you want as an offense. On the back side over here, you can do anything you want to do like we talked about before. It's a three-step combination here, so you're probably going to have a three-step combo over here. It can be a curl flat with a, a curl and a flat route here. It can be a slant flat. It can be two slants. It can be a pick route. It can be all kinds of things over there. But what really is going on, what really bakes this play up here is, is this combination on this side with this flat route and this stick route. This go route allows this cornerback to kind of be a non-factor. So we're going to run him out of the play. He's going to be so far down the field that he's got no shot. Now, if this guy were to, to come and walk up here, this quarterback has the option to throw this ball over the top. Because if you've got single safety high and you've got a cornerback walking up, you know either he's going to bail into cover three or he's got bump and run coverage here and he's going to play, single, or he's going to play cover one. And he's, or cover zero if there's going to be pressure or something like that. So you know you've got the ability to throw this up here, especially if you've got a guy wearing number 88 with a star on his helmet. That's the kind of throw you want to make when you can get him one-on-one -on -one with a guy. So this is the stick combination. You'll see it everywhere from high school, college, semi-pro, pro. You'll see it in Canada. You'll see it everywhere. It's a basic three-step combination. It's a quick, easy throw. It's got the ability to get this guy in a lot of space, and when that guy's wearing number 19 and his name's Miles Austin, or number 11 and he's Cole Beasley for all you Beasley guys out there, this is the kind of spot you want him to be in. A quick, shifty guy can make guys miss, can get up the field and make a play with the ball in his hands after he makes the catch. Really gives you the opportunity to do a lot of things, and this is the kind of play that can complement a running game because you get the quick step, easy throw, five yard gain, run this play on first down when the defense thinks you're going to run the ball, lets you kind of catch them off guard, get a quick easy gain, get second and five, second and four, and you're in a really good spot ahead of the chains. So I hope you enjoyed this trip to the chalkboard. Um, ask any questions that you want in the comments section. We'll be happy to answer them. we got lots of great guys around here who can answer a lot of your questions. So. Thank you very much and hope you have a wonderful day.